Hey everyone, this is a video to show you how it looks when you put a custom velvet cape on the new Hot Toys 1 4th scale Batman Begins Batman figure. Now that is the stock cape over there. I have had to use the Enterbay cape clips to do this and I know that they are the wrong way around, it's just that's the way the magnets are. It's, it's you know, if I try it the other way around they're the opposite and they flip over. So just for the sake of getting the cape on him so you can see how it looks, you're going to have to forgive the slightly uh, wonky looking cape clips they're just the wrong way around this one should be over there and that one should be over there now it does look rather good i have to say um the cape is designed to go on the enter bay batman and the shoulder you know the distance between the shoulders seems to be slightly different uh, because on the enter bay figure this comes across so easily but here it's kind of at the limit uh, but it still comes and wraps around him really nicely so it looks good just wanted to let you see how it looks because i know a lot of you are anxious to see this particular batman with a nice custom cape on him so i think this will be well yeah pretty sure it's the first time you're seeing it so it's pretty impressive one thing when you turn it right to the side and we see the side profile which is one of the best ways to see the batman begins look because you know you get to see how thick the cowl is and just the animalistic kind of look to him the beastly kind of uh, intimidating awesomeness just turn that brightness down a little bit for you uh, the cowl does seem to be thicker at least this way across than the enter bay one um, now that would happen if Christian Bale inside the cowl was kind of looking downward the cowl neck would kind of compress on the side view and maybe look a bit thicker so that looks pretty decent at least that's different from the enter bay one still think the enter bay cowl is extremely accurate but we'll check out that later in a comparison. Yeah. That's how it looks. Very sleek. Like Panther like. Just love this look. Yeah, let's just see it from the back here as well. I just stand up and see it from that kind of view like in the dark night before he leaps down onto the the uh, van or the truck or whatever that Scarecrow's trying to escape in but yeah the cow's been done really well beautiful cape I need to get around to getting another one of these uh, spare I need to get a spare cape really because just having one if anything goes wrong with it I'm screwed yeah, it looks really nice. So there'll be more videos uh, on this particular kind of setup for Batman in the future. So definitely do more of this and let you see different angles, different poses and stuff with the velvet cape on it. But just a quick video just to let you see how it looks. And uh, yeah, definitely an improvement. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd definitely be better off filming something like this at night. You set up the lighting that's another reason to go back and do another one for you later on film it in the night time and get some nice leds pointing at him some moody lighting effects happening for you at least this way you can't see those hideous gauntlets but yeah i really do like the look with a nice velvet cape i mean why can't hot toys just go the full hog you know just if you're gonna do it do it you know damn well that they've done the research they know what cape you know what the cape looks like what kind of cape they should bring us but instead, well, I know they tried. It's just the decision to have it kind of pleated and going over his shoulder so it can't wrap around like this. It's not the way to go. Not the way to go at all with the Batman Begins look. You've got to be able to bring that cape around and do something like this. That is very iconic for the film. Really important. <laughs> 